It's time to sound design. What is going on Rocket Powered Sound Designers? Today, we're going to be making this sound. Pretty tight, right? It's a classic flame Kaigo and Matama tropical house flute and it's really cool. So, what do you say we go ahead and jump right into the sound here? Pretty simple, straightforward. Now, if you guys aren't already subscribed to the best channel on YouTube for serum tutorials, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button because we are the only YouTube channel that's putting out daily serum uploads. That's right, a serum tutorial every single day as long as you press that subscribe button. So anyways, we're going to start off in basic shapes. Now, typically we're making some dubstep, but today we're not. We're just going to be sticking with no frequency modulation. and. You know, we're just going to be rocking a triangle waveform. Now, in my mind, a triangle waveform sounds almost like a cross between a sine waveform and a square waveform. And the reasoning for that is because it almost sounds pretty odd. It sounds like it has the odd harmonics of a square, but a little bit more soft than a sine waveform. And that's why I really like working with triangle waveforms for sounds like this, because originally I was using a square, but that sounded way too harsh. And then a sine was a little bit too soft. And then, you know, combine the two and, you know, I don't mean combine the two, but when we work with the triangle, it's like the perfect combination. Now, if we think about a flute here, we're breathing into a pipe. We're like, right? Am I right? So, our breath is basically like white noise. To, no, no, it's not like white noise, but it's noise. It doesn't necessarily have a set pitch. So we can go ahead and turn on a little bit of noise here. Now the noise, we don't want to have the level too high because uh, the, the actually around this level is going to be perfect because the multiband compressor is going to pick it up. It's going to be like, all right, now the level is pretty low on this. We need to compensate for that. So we're going to go ahead and boost the level up. So we're going to be turning on the multiband compressor in a bit. So just go ahead and leave the level there. Don't worry too much about that. And now we're going to actually shape the sound. Now, blown into a flute, right? Specifically a tropical flute. <laughs> and we have, let's think about the envelope. We go, oh. So we have a little bit of a ramp starting up to it, right? And then we have a little bit sustain turned down. Maybe a little bit less decay there, or shorter. And then of course we have a little bit of a release. And you know, right away you can actually start to hear the properties or the elements that actually make up the flute right now. Now, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be using a reverb filter to enhance the sound a little bit. So go ahead and turn that on for oscillator A and the noise oscillator. Turn up the drive a tad bit. And now we're gonna begin our first modulation cycle here. Or first modulation, I don't know why I said cycle. But, oops, my bad. We're gonna be jumping LFO number one onto the cutoff and make this go down from around negative 27% all the way up to the, we're at like 106 hertz. And we're just gonna put this on envelope and 1 8 will be a good rate. So you can actually start to hear that um, it almost makes a pitch sound, like we're changing the pitch, which we essentially are. The reverb's overlapping the sound. And it can make a nice little uh, up pitch sound, I suppose. Um, and actually, you know what we can do to even enhance that effect? We can go into the matrix, put LFO onto the global master tune and have it pitch down from, we have about two here. Now that's not necessarily two semitones, but that's around like 1.8. And that will do. So that sounds pretty good, but we need a little bit more space here. Put that unison up to five. So we have about five voices playing at a singular time. Turn that detune down. So, you know, we don't have a ton of mixed pitch. You know what? I'm actually not a fan of that stereo width. It's up to you whether you choose to use that or not. But let's bring it straight into the effects section. Um, we're gonna be using a little bit of tube, tube distortion just to bring out the frequencies a little bit. Turning the drive up to around 70% or 
will kind of leave us with that sound, but that's a little bit too harsh. We're gonna turn it to about 50% on that mix. And now, this is what I was talking about earlier. We need that multi-band compressor life. <laughs> Go ahead and turn that multi-band on. But here's one of the things we're gonna adjust. We're gonna adjust the attack. So it's not as harsh. We can start to bring in a more smoother, softer approach into the sound. And I'm gonna cut out a little bit of the low end, and we can, or the high end, I mean. We can do that by just lowering down the high bands bandwidth here, or the percentage, not bandwidth. And you know what? That will sound pretty good. We'll leave it around 77%. Nice, nice. Now we're getting somewhere. Turn on our hyper. Um, now this part's completely up to you. It depends on how you guys choose to fatten up your sound. You guys can copy my settings if you'd like. There's not really a huge technical reason behind this. So I'm gonna just kind of move faster between here. And then finally, we can finish it off with a little bit of reverb, all right? We're on a tropical island. Maybe we're in a cave. Now we're blowing our flute inside a tropical cave. Now, <laughs> um, guys, that is how you make a Kaigo slash Motama. I, I feel like I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but whatever. Um, their kind of style of tropical house, and it's really dope. So let me know if you guys like this sound. Like I said, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you guys go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you guys like this sound, leave a like. If you don't like it, drop a dislike. It just gives me an idea of how many of you guys actually like the sound. All right, guys. Well, without further ado, I'm done rambling. My name is Shane from Rocket Power Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next year I'm tutorial.